Begin by raising the rear wing to the up position, red arrow. With the ignition on, push and hold the wing switch in the center console until the wing raises and stays up. You need access to the covers by each tail light to remove them, red arrows. There is a small plastic cover, red arrow, on each side between the wing base assembly, blue arrow, and the wing. Lift the plate up from the two retaining slots in by the wing, red arrows, and then slide the plate from the notch, blue arrows. People try and pry this straight up, out, and break it. Both of the plates on our project car were broken and needed replacing. There are two long T27 screws, blue arrows, that sit in adjusters on the taillight housings. Again, one of them was missing on our project car. The adjusters on the housing are used to set the gaps between the bumper cover and the chassis. If your taillight gaps are good, try not to move the adjusters when removing the screws. You can see the rearward adjuster here, blue arrow. This should not spin when removing the screw. If it does, hold it in place with a thin wrench or a flathead screwdriver. Remove the two screws. They are very long. If you are worried about scratching your paint, place down some tape before sliding the taillight housings out. Here you can see the two adjusters that the mounting screws sit in. Slide the housing out and turn it over. Use a small flathead screwdriver to release the clip on the electrical connection and separate them. Blue arrow. The front of the housing has an opening blue arrow that sits in a mounting screw that connects to the bumper cover to the chassis. Red arrow. With the assembly out, you can see the two adjusters. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.